Hey guys, we're back. Fred here, AF Math and Engineering, and we are solving this deflection by integration problem. Okay, so what have we done so far? We found the reactions. We are calculating the deflection currently at the midpoint between A and B. So what we did is we cut the beam here in between A and B. We integrated twice, okay, and we got the formula for the deflection, which we derived here. Then using the boundary conditions, okay, we solved for the constant of inst integration, okay? So this, don't get confused, all right? This isn't the integra, this isn't the, uh, the deflection, okay? That's just a, the uh, kind of the, what we took away when we, when we derived earlier, when the equation was derived, okay? So whenever you integrate, you need to put that constant back in the equation, okay? And th essentially that's what we did here by adding a C1 and a C2, all right? And we solve for C1, so now what we can do is we can come over to this side and solve for the deflection at the midpoint, all right? So let's do that. So if we write down our, and I'm going to write that as our third equation, okay? V, and I'm just taking that from here, okay? So I'm just gonna make a box around that just so we don't get confused. Negative 30x to the four over 12 plus 398x cubed over six, okay? Plus C1x and C2 is zero, okay? So I'm not even gonna write C2, okay? Because we already went over that in the last video. If you're unsure of how we got there, that's a C. If you're unsure of how we got to that point or how, why C2 is zero, go back and, and just, just look over that again, okay? So we need to solve for the deflection V at X equals and half of 15 is 7.5, okay? So we want the deflection here at this point. So, okay, we're just gonna sub in X equals 7.5, all right? And C1 in this case, okay, is negative 6,487.5, right? Because we solve for that, all right? So let's do it. We have EI, V equals negative 30, okay? We're gonna put in 7.5 here. Plug the, just plug in our 7.5 into all the X's, okay? To the power of three over six minus 6,487.5 times 7.5, okay? And we're gonna isolate for V here. Now, if you remember at the start of the question, okay, EI was con is, is constant, all right? And you'll see this in a lot of the deflection questions, is that EI won't be given. Sometimes it will be given as a value. But in this case, it's not, and it's exactly the same process if it's, if it's constant or if it's not constant. All that means is that you just need to leave EI as is in the, in the equation, okay? So, so don't sub in any numbers here. Just, just consider them constants and that's, that's fine, all right? So let's solve for V, okay? And if we just put that whole thing into our calculator here, okay? We're going to get a value of zero three over, and just divide both sides by EI, move this over underneath all of this at x equals 7.5, all right? And that's as easy as that. I mean, that's once we've derived the equation, okay? And sorry, if my writing is a little small there, that's just a three there, okay? And that is essentially the, uh, the deflection at the midpoint between A and B, all right? So in the next video, we are going to show you how to solve for the deflection at C. Hopefully you understood that. If you have any questions or anything, post down below or send us an email and stay tuned for the next video.